Violence has no place in society is a sentence that's straight up just lying to you. We do not want violence to have a place in society. Now that's a different thing. This is not a call to action. It just lies to you and it doesn't work. Hey, I'm Thomas and let me say this right from the start. I want this as well. But to be so naive as to be virtue signaling while denouncing such a common element of society, go read a book. The last century was one of the most violent eras in the human history. The one before it was not completely fun times as well, and the one before it and so on Slavery. and on. Violence definitely has a place in our society and we're ashamed of it. Rightfully so. Cradle of democracy, which some people still idolize for being the prime example of a working governing system, had Socrates drinking poison because he was corrupting the youth. So what does this actually mean if you look at it from a bigger view? Because if you just look at it from up close and at face value, violence is just tragedy. History books are full of them, but modern education seems to be missing the point with trying to educate you about them. An event that causes great loss of human life and... And it has no meaning or consequences that could lead to a potentially better future is truly tragic. 20th century was tragic at face value. But if you zoom out, you can see that we still live with the positive consequences of the results. Now, if you were on the internet for more than four seconds, you might have heard about the assassination attempts that happened this year. I'm gonna hint at at least two. Not gonna completely analyze those, so you can do your own research, which you should. Assassination attempts throughout history stem from the same reason all the time, and it is simply a disagreement. Whether it is the people, or a guy with an AR-15, that see the political person to be a threat to whatever goal or values they have. Simple as that. Abraham Lincoln, his killer disagreed with the emancipation rights. JFK, that isn't completely settled, but his killer defected to the Soviet Union in the 60s. And that is well enough for him to develop a sense of disagreement with the whole US establishment. Franz Ferdinand, his killer opposed the annexation of Bosnia into Austria-Hungary. These two? Well, for this one, the motive that the killer was just insane is as good as any other to this day. But in this one, the guy straight up just said that he didn't agree with him. He didn't even want to kill him, he just wanted to hurt him to prove a point. What the fuck? So this teaches us to Two things. Political violence is used as a tool. It's the metaphorical wrench thrown into the situation to stir things up. It is pretty effective since whether the assailant kills or just harms his target, god damn things get pretty stirred up. But it doesn't achieve the exact result the assailant usually has in mind. Therefore another thing it teaches us is that it's absolutely, without any doubt, stupid. Unless you're defending human rights. I'll get there. The emancipation rights of black slaves got the green light. JFK was replaced by his vice president Johnson who inherited the Cold War crisis anyway. And Bosnia and Serbia was engulfed in a conflict that shaped both of them into an unrecognizable state whether they were longing for that or not in the next 100 years. But so much, what else are we supposed to do? Just embrace the system like you said in the last video? Okay, okay, so you don't agree with something your government slash politician slash guy slash gal says or does. Here's a couple things I suggest you do first. Some people actually can't oh. even precisely describe what exactly it is that they disagree oh. with. It's just that they disagree with the general notion of the ways of their government. That is just heftier brain rot and it happens way too often. These people are a big problem. It really doesn't matter how intelligent they are. If they reach the conclusion that they need to be violent, they will do that no matter what argument you give them. So uh, you got that? Starting to think about having to eat my neighbors. Good. Now I want you to research everything around the problem, why you don't agree, how exactly it is affecting you and your community. Has this been a problem before? Fucking use the thing in your hands for something else than Clash of Clans for once, man. After some time of educating yourself, if you could differentiate between true and false information, then yes, congratulations, you've been educating yourself. You will realize that violence could not have possibly solved this problem. Except the human rights issue. I said I'll get there, okay? And you also realize that you can defend your point now in front of the people that are not as educated as you are in that matter. Now of course as some of you pointed out already, people fucking hate educating themselves and you just shoving facts down their throat really won't do you or them any favor. But hey, this is way better than grabbing that AR-15 because the wheels of society turn very slowly. Yes, when the Soviet mustache man died, a lot of people breathed the sigh of relief, but the oppressive system endured for the next 40 years. You will not achieve an immediate success with your violence. You're gonna learn about about a lot of better options for you to take in order to have your opinion be heard through words and actions. This is 100% better than you dreaming about achieving global anarchy or something. Just had to put my two cents in that. Anarchy in terms of way of governing is the complete absence of hierarchy or some form of centralization. So that means everyone has equal right to be governed the way they want to be. Which won't necessarily mean that all your problems go away since you can still be cast out of the anarchical society. <laughs> go kick rocks. So what's my point? Expect violence. 
Not in a sense that you should expect you exploding in every single situation presented to you, but in a sense that you will reach the conclusion that only violence can solve this only if you're uneducated on the matter. And we are yet to reach the same level of education across the masses. Expect the foundation of civilization to be shaken every now and then to remind you that you have a responsibility to teach yourself and the closest ones around you to do their research and to take the peaceful route every time. But so much, what if not only I disagree with my government, but it's also suppressing my human rights? You say you'll talk about it, why are you not talk about it so much? Are you hiding something? If the state you are currently in is actively suppressing your human rights, for example, as in not allowing you to express your opinion or is mistreating you because of your status, sexuality, race or ethnicity, then you should aim for emigrating from that place as soon as possible. I understand that for a lot of people that is not an option and so in that case, get the Molotov. Hey, also one quick thing, I made a Discord server for anyone interested in asking me questions regarding my research on the videos, send me funny memes or tell me to die in a fire. Not sure what uses the Discord could have yet, so for anyone interested in giving me suggestions, DM Thomas on the server. I will definitely not steal the memes you send me and use them in a vid. Thanks, bye!